Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us for this uh, Filmmakers Chat, part of the 20th edition of the New York Asian Film Festival, presented by the New York Asian Film Foundation and the Film at Lincoln Center, running from August 6th to 22nd. So firstly, I would like to um, extend our thanks to the Korean Cultural Center of New York for sponsoring this uh, South Korean section this year. Um, I'm Claire Marty, one of the programmer and uh, associate director of this festival. Our uh, interpreter for today's conversation is uh, Joanne Zhang. And we are thrilled to present the film that we are discussing here, Fighter, which will play at the Film at Lincoln Center Virtual Cinema from August 7th to the 12th. It will be part of the section called Beyond Borders, which um, film that tells story about characters confronting different cultures. And it is my honor to introduce director Jiro Yoon and lead actress Im Sung Mi. Welcome. So uh, Jiro Yoon, you're an award winning director and screenwriter from South Korea, but you lived in um, and studied in France for many years. And in 2016, our festival played your documentary Mrs. B, a North Korean woman. And your short films were selected in Cannes, La Quinzaine des Réalisateurs. And your debut picture, Beautiful Day, was, opening the, was the opening film at the Busan International Film Festival. And um, in Song Mi, you have many years of acting films, that's uh, including Bong Joon Ho's Mother, uh, many TV series and um, plays theater plays and you play the main character Gina in this film beautifully and you won the best actress of the year at Busan Film Festival. So um, I would like um, both of you if you could um, Jero, if you could introduce your film to the audience please. Um, hello. Um, the fighter it's about uh, it's about the woman who's fighting against the world and in searching her dream in the place where she just started her new life. And this is a drama, family drama, but also love story. So you can find a very nice people in the film, especially Im Song Min played lovely in the film. So yeah, that's it. And um, thank you. Im Song Min, could you um, please um, tell us, um, introduce your character, Gina, to the audience, please? Gina라는 인물 좀 소개를 해주시겠습니까? 어 제가 맡은 캐릭터인 리 진아라는 인물은 어. 탈북민 출신의 어, 한 여성으로서 어, 남한 사회에서 어, 그리고 서울에서 이제 본인의 삶을 시작해 나가는 그런 인물이고 그 과정에서 좀 여러 다양한 어떤 에피소드들을 겪게 됐고 그리고 또 우연히 어, 복싱이라는 어, 어떤 그런 스포츠 장르를 통해서 자신의 삶을 다시 한번 재발견하게 되고 그리고 그 안에서 만나는 어, 낯선 이들과의 어떤 소통이나 그런 교감을 통해서 어, 그 인물이 한 단계 성장해 나가고 그리고 더 나아가서는 조금 더 어, 뭐랄까 약간 스스로 어떤 자립성을 갖게 되는 그런 인물이라고 보면 되겠습니다. The character Lee Dina in the film that I played uh, in the film uh, is a um, North Korean refugee. Uh, and the uh, Gina is trying to start a new life in uh, South Korea and more specifically in Seoul. In that process, she experiences a variety of episodes and she just uh, happens to uh, meet boxing, a new sport for her. And then she discovers her life from a, um, a new perspective. In the uh, process, she meets a lot of um, strangers or new people, and um, she can 
now find ways to communicate or to resonate with them. And in the process, she uh, grows up and she gets independent herself. Right. So how um, could you tell us, well, um, how did you come to collaborate together? Did you know each other before or was there a casting? How did that come together? Um, <laughs> 두 분이 어떻게 협업하시게 되셨는지 네, 말씀을 좀 해주시죠. 선생님 먼저 하시죠. <웃음> um, it was by um, my producer who with who I worked for Beautiful Days. Uh, he didn't make uh, he didn't produce the fighter, but I worked with another producer and. So one day um, he presented to me uh, in some me with his uh, agency. And so it was a very quick meeting, first meeting that I felt very um, nicely atmosphere, you know. When I met her, I felt that she can play Gina in the film. Why? So it was a wonderful moment. And so we just discussed a little bit, maybe 30 minutes maximum. And, and then after that, I asked her, you want to play in Fighter? And she said, yes. So it was very quick decision uh, between us, I think. Oh, good. And, and Songmi, did you? Songmi님은 감독님과 어떻게 일을 하시기로 결정을 하셨는지. 어 일단 그 당시에 제 이제 배우 일을 이렇게 봐주던 제 에이전시 측에서 시나리오를 먼저 받아서 보게 됐고 그리고. 어, 감독님 전작들도 좀 찾아보고 미팅 전에 어, 그렇게 해서 좀 나름대로 좀 부담스럽지 않게 어필할 수 있, 있는 선에서 어, 미팅을 하게 됐고 그 그냥 좀 음, 제가 좀 많이 낯설어 하는 편이고 조금 낯가림을 조금 하는 편인데 좀 그런 느낌은 전혀 들지 않았고 그냥 되게 편안하게 어, 낯선 여행지에서 티타임 하는 그런 느낌으로 이야기를 했었고 그리고 그 자리에서 바로 어, 캐스팅 제안이 들어왔고 그리고 저도 바로 어, 오케이 하고 그리고 조금 일사천리로 진행이 됐던 것 같아요. 네. Uh, as uh, director Yun mentioned, uh... I was, um, I received the screenplay from my agency so I could read it before I meeting uh, uh, director Yoon. And I also watched uh, pro uh, director Yoon's other previous uh, films. So right. I felt quite comfortable to uh, meet him uh, in that short, in, in that brief meeting. In fact, I uh, am not good at meeting new people, but I didn't feel sort of um, uh, awkward when I first met uh, director Yoon. So I was really comfortable to talk to him. I felt like we were at a, uh, we were having a very uh, uh, friendly tea time uh, in the first meeting. So he proposed uh, a casting role uh, in that first meeting and I accepted it right, at, right away. So it was really a uh, smooth uh, arrangement. Oh, that's good. Probably you can tell in the film that um, works really well. There's lots of close-ups. It feels like um, there's a good chemistry with the director and actress. So that that was that went quite smoothly. Did you? What was the hardest challenge making this film? Then, what difficulty did you face? Um, in fact, it it was uh, the time or the time. It, it mean. Uh, because I, all the time when I'm making a fiction um, in Beautiful Days in my previous film was same case uh, because it was an independent film. So we didn't have enough money. So 
it was very low, low budget film uh, in comparison Europe or United States. So it was my challenge all the time, how I can make this film with a short time to prepare, short time to shoot and short time in post-production. So in Beautiful Days, I shoot to the full 15 days and fighter 14 days only. So, you know, my challenge, it was um, how I can deal with the actors and with my staff, my team, and how I can convince the producer and with this short time. So this is a challenge, but, uh, and in same time, it's also uh, my, it's, uh, it was a very difficult moment for me as film director. So I think, uh, and then when everything uh, is going well and with uh, nice actors, nice team, Finally, you know, it was very good at the fair to make this film. So I think, uh, yeah, I think this, this, I think it, it, that's all. Right. And for um, for Sang Mi, for example, your your character Gina, uh, she's a she's a fighter in many ways. She's not only um, it's not only the physical acting, but you also convey um, um, such a broad emotional range and also have to deliver your lines in a North Korean accent. Uh, what was the hardest challenge for you preparing for the role and shooting? Yeah,今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今日今
그 이진아 역할을 하시면서 그 성격 중에 어, 본인의 성격과 좀 유사한 부분이 있다고 느끼셨는지 그래서 본인의 경험을 투영해서 연기를 하신 부분이 있으신지요? 음좀 약간 승부욕? 저도 좀 승부욕이 좀 있는 편이어서 어, 시, 시작을 하면 끝을 봐야 된다라는 그런 어, 주의라 좀그 부분에 조금 지나에게 다가가는데 조금 염두 좀더 이렇게 좀더 공감을 조금 많이 했던 것 같고 그리고 어떤 개인적인 경험과 조금 연결시킬 수 있다면 저도 뭐 지나처럼까지는 아니지만 어 어릴 때 조금 부모님이랑 좀 따로 떨어져서 지냈던 시간들이 조금 있었어요. 그래서 그 부분을 조금 상기했던 시간들이 좀 있었던 것 같아요. 어 그리고 어 이제 뭐 스스로 혼자서 이제 스스로 어, 살아가야 한다는 것도 그렇고 어, 그런 그런 부분들 아주 특별한 게 생각해서 그 공감점을 차, 찾았다기보다는 좀더 어, 보편적인 감정들을 좀 많이 찾아서 살리려고 했던 것 같아요. 네. Um, I think uh, maybe my uh, strong sense of competition that would be Uh, some um, similar uh, point uh, between me and the uh, uh, role of uh, Gina. You know, if I start something, I really uh, want to finish it. So in that sense, I think uh, we have some similarities. Um, for my uh, personal experience, I'm um, maybe not as uh, hard as Gina, but uh, I myself uh, had, was separated from my uh, parents for some time when I was young. So uh, when I was playing Gina, I reflected on uh, that part of my uh, experience. And then, you know, the fact to be, have to, uh, we all have to live alone. Uh, I think that sense of independence uh, can sort of um, uh, resonate with anybody's experiences. So rather than trying to uh, sort of uh, produce some special emotions or feelings, I try to convey sort of more universe, universal or general emotions and feelings to the audience. All right, thank you. And Giro, also most of the films that you've done seem that I've seen seems to be focused on, um, on women. Like um, uh, the short film you made, Promise, Uh, was about an immigrant Korean woman in France, uh, Beautiful Days, the documentary, Mrs. B, a North Korean woman, which played Anyap as well in 2016. What compelled you to, um, to make female-centric films as a starting point of your stories? Um, as you mentioned, I, I think it all my personal research about Korean people Started in the world. Um, it started. It's it's from uh, this woman who I met. I met in Paris. So What? she was uh, in illegal situation, and I was very curious of uh, her origin because she was from uh, the place where we call North Korea today. So. And then after this film, uh, I was uh, interesting to meet the people, scattered people, especially from Korean origin, you know. Mm -hmm. And so when I met many Korean people in the world, especially in Asia, and naturally uh, many women I met from North Korea, for example, So naturally, everything that I'm working in the same theme about family story, separation, or suffering by something, by border. So every my personal research today is from uh, this travel meeting and, and discussion with the real people, you know. So 
So in the percentage, of course, I met also some uh, men, but uh, I think if I remember 80 percentage, it was a woman. So naturally, I inspired for the fiction too. And I think, yeah, I think that's all, yeah. Right. And before, like, um, before this encounter in France with uh, the, that woman, were you, were you thinking of making films? Because you studied art in France, didn't you? I saw that you studied in Nancy and then Paris. And yeah, then... I, I, I was more in experimental film before. And uh, I started to know about the cinema in the school. And, but before Promise, I think I made more drama, but uh, I'm not really interested by the fiction, I think, before. Uh, I was more like experimenter or something, art movie or art thing. And, and then small by small, step by step, I was interested by cinema and especially from French movie, you know, right. and for example, Trifot or Godard and, yeah. you know, it's very classic, but uh, it was a new form for me. It was a new form for the people who knew already cinema, but for me who never learned uh, cinema uh, uh, in the school, for example. So I was all the time in the art school. So it was very, very difficult for me and to how I can learn the cinema. And, and watching uh, many classic French movie, I, I learned many things. And I think it's from uh, this, uh, this moment that I'm still making the film today. Right. I grew up with uh, Francois Truffaut, of course. And I think I keep rewatching them and any of his films, they don't, they, um, they never age. And what about, um, what about you, Sangmi? Which, um, what inspired you to be an actress? Did you have, did you have um, a filmmaker or an actress, an actress that you um, inspired you? Uh-huh. 좋아해요. 아, 그리고 그분이 지향하고자 하는 어떤 어, 작품, 그러니까 뭔가 연기관이라든가 그 음, 그걸 좀 넘어서서 약간 그분의 휴머니티가 굉장히 어, 마음에 들고 또 감독으로서는 요즘에는 스티브 맥퀸 감독님 영화를 조금 응. 어, 보고 있어요. 그 중에서도 좀 쉐임이라는 영화를 조금 주, 재밌게 봤는데 좀 지금의 현대 사회에 좀 되게 걸맞는 그런 영화가 아니었나라는 생각하면서 좀 보고 있습니다. In fact, I have maybe too many actors and actresses and uh, film directors uh, who have inspired me uh, to get this um, acting job. But uh, more recently, I study uh, a couple of um, act actors and actresses and um, directors. For example, in Korea, I study the works of uh, actress Jeon Do-yeon, do Jeon. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And for the Western uh, side, I really love uh, Meryl Streep. Um, I love her... Uh, views of for acting and especially her humanity and for film directors i uh, like uh, works of um, steve mcqueen i watched several of his works but uh, very recently i watched shame which i uh, think has a lot of implications for our modern society 
Oh, thanks. So, um, going back to Fighter, to the film we mentioned earlier when we talked about um, uh, focusing on women and um, um, Gina and the experience of being separated from family. It's something that you also have a recurring theme that you explored in your work. The parents who have separated from their children are moving to a better life. That's quite um, quite strong in, um, in Gina's case in the film. Like her mother has some completely new family. Um, have you come across many cases as well in your research when you, when you were um, making all these films? Because it's also in the other films. Um, yeah, can you um, please talk about this film, this theme? Yeah, um, when I <clears throat> was travel, traveling uh, in Asia, for example, in looking for North Korean people uh, for documentary. And so I met many people. So in fact, many young uh, women uh, separated uh, uh, with the family, uh, try to earn the money in, uh, in other place. Yeah. So Gina's case, I met uh, so many. And also in Korea, we have many North Korean uh, migrant try to sit her down in South Korea and with the South Korean culture and try to learn. And especially Gina's case, uh, when I met and many, many parents or mother or father, especially mother uh, remarried with another guy in South Korea and try to have a new life, you know. Uh, I saw some uh, cases and, but also um, some young women try to have marriage with a Korean guy, for example, have a new family, oh, nice. and like Mrs. B's case, and have uh, children in China, for example, but she couldn't live uh, with the Chinese family. She wanted to live in Korea, for example. So many women um, um, have uh, in the situation between two families or it's, uh, you know, almost like a border, you know, they are in the border. So they couldn't have another choice anyway. Right. Uh, so I met many cases and of course I inspired by this true story in the fiction like Gina's case or uh, in the beautiful days, for example. Right. And um, so you're talking about um, Mrs. B, a Korean woman. So you, it seems like you've used your experience in documentaries for fighter. It felt, um, watching it, it felt like a balance between uh, realism of documentaries and um, mixed with the romance drama, family. So now that you've made um, short documentaries, uh, film feature, uh, which format would you say you prefer for, to deliver your stories? Um, for me, you know, a uh, former is not the question uh, and every form can be good for the story. You know, when, if some stories, it's better in documentary. So I may, I try to make documentary, but another story, it's better in fiction, in picture or in short, I try to make it. So I adapt in fact from the story can have a which, uh, which form, you know, yeah. and in, the, in, in, in cinema. So I don't try to um, focus in only for that, for that, for that. Try just to, for me, the team, the subject is more important than form, cinema form. So it's it just a different style in different time, 
technically how in the fiction or in documentary or in in a short film so yeah i think uh, that's all so you will continue to make either documentary or feature depending on your story yeah of course makes sense, uh, makes sense. Mm. and um what about you sangmi what um what do you like the most about acting do you keep in try to um would you rather do some uh, intense uh, challenging leading role or want to go towards more like lighter comedies what what kind of role do you prefer 임성미 배우님께서는 지금 그 연기를 다양한 연기를 하실 텐데 좀 이렇게 이번 파이터처럼 무거운 주제에서 주연 이런 걸 좋아하시는지 아니면 조금 더 가벼운 그런 코미디에서의 역할들을 선호하시는지 연기에서 어떤 선호하시는 영역이 있으신지요? 어 딱히 영역을 정해놓고 선호하는 장르는 없어요. 예전에 연기 공부를 할 때는 조금 그런 호불호가 되게 강해, 강했었던 편이었던 것 같은데 어, 활동을 하고 작업을 하면서 그 경계나 어떤 장르나 어떤 연기의 어떤 폭들이 조금씩은 이렇게 허물어지고 또좀 좀 뭐라 그럴까 어, 그 선들이 조금 이렇게 불분명해지는 것 같아요. 그렇지만 여태까지 제가 해왔던 작품들이나 혹은 역할들을 보면 조금 고민을 좀 많이 하고 또 어렵 어렵고 또좀 조금 도전적인 그런 인물들을 많이 맡았던 것 같은데 어 사실 코미디 장르도 좋아하고 또 스릴러 장르도 되게 좋아하고 좀 앞으로 뭐 못해본 것들 혹은 좀 제가 조금 어 개인적인 배우의 어떤 연기 영역이 조금 더어 넓어질 수 있는 그런 작품들을 좀 해보고 싶어요. I don't have any specific uh, roles or genres I uh, prefer. In fact, when I was studying acting, I had I think I had very strong preferences for such some for some specific genres. But now, as a professional in the field, I don't have such um, clear boundaries uh, between genres or roles. Um, I rather the the marks uh, between genres for me are now obscure. Uh, if you look at the roles I've played in uh, different films and dramas, uh, you could see I've taken quite difficult, challenging, and uh, very complex roles. But I also am interested in, as you mentioned, light comedies or thriller genres as well. So I'd rather work to expand my uh, sort of capacity to take up or to work in any roles or in any genres. Right. Um, what did you personally learn? What did you learn from making the film Fighter or from director Jeho Yun? Uh,中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者中国人的或者
감독님으로서. Now from this work, I um, uh, was a leading role present in all the scenes throughout the uh, film. So, in fact, I learned a lot from that responsibility, and uh, I think that I could uh, grow internally a great deal uh, with that uh, sense of responsibility. And from director Yoon, I was sort of amazed by his passion and energy. Now, in, in the shooting field, you know, you face a lot of um, uh, problems and risks, risk situations. But then I was sort of uh, astonished or, uh, you know, uh, amazed by his ability to resolve them really smoothly and efficiently. So he gave me a lot of good lessons. Right. And um, the um, zero. Uh, regarding your film that has it played in um in korea have you um, have you been able to play it in the cinemas yes yes it's yeah. uh, in this year i mean it played in busan isn't it it's played on um, physically in busan so could you were you able to feel the, um, the reactions are you satisfied with um, how the films was received in korea um, do you feel a um, good response for the um, from the audience and the media the, um, how did you how did you feel about this um when uh, fighter was released in theater in march um many people called me and it was a nice moment uh especially you know focused about the in some me actress I really wanted to her in um, focused by many media, you know, because right. in some me that who I discovered in this film was really amazing. So when I explained about this film to her in 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 preparing this film. Uh, I, I, I remember I tell her it's really important your character that all my team um, try to support you because your character is really uh, the heart of the cinema, heart of this film. So. She did it. She made it. I was really happy that many media people appreciated to about her character and in some me. So for that, yes, I was really happy and very good uh, press. We have it, and yeah. So it wasn't unnoticed. Um, she won the best. Best actress. Uh, it was the Netback Netback Award at Busan. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, congratulations. <laughs> so, you. in in terms of um, since you've been doing these films uh, with the topic of uh, refugees, North Koreans uh, settling in Korea, in South Korea, do you feel um, socially conscious changes over the years in um, in Korea? Um, it's very difficult to answer because uh, I don't really have this feeling that our country, uh, South Korea, evolved really uh, in this case. And because it, it looks like uh, soccer, you know, it's uh, all the time we, we try to do something, finally we come back in the start point. Wow. So I fear all the time like that. It's repeat, repeat, repeat. We try, but uh, it's something like, uh, you know, I, we must just restart from zero, you know. So when I call, for example, Mrs. D in real life, because I'm still connected with her and her family, her situation is not really, maybe she can be fine, 
you know, in comparison, uh, her life before, but not like uh, she expected anyway. Right. So when I finished uh, this film 2016, and it's already six years, almost five years uh, past it. And so when I, I heard about some North Korean people in South Korea, for example, um, their life is uh, not really, it, it's just fine, but, uh, you know, not, it's difficult anyway, so for them. And because uh, it still exists, the discrimination, discrimination uh, in Korea uh, against uh, those Korean people. Right. And we have, uh, because they have, have an uh, accent, North Korean accent. Mm. Because North, North Korean accent is uh, when you heard uh, in subway, for example, and suddenly, you know, you don't, they don't watch you like a friend, you know, so, or neighborhood. So probably this North Korean accent uh, have uh, some uh, problem in Korea especially Korean society tried to put this North Korean accent like a problem. So, and when I met some uh, young North Korean refugee in South Korea, in fact, they tried to erase North Korean accent to try oh. to be South Korean people, South Korean look in South Korean accent. So this transformation for me, it's very strange, very weird. And they try to forget their origin or their, where they are from. And for me, this is very important to keep this yeah. in, in, in your heart, you know. But just to, because uh, Korean society isn't really ready to, you know, receive uh, those Korean people culturally or you know psychologically and systematically too so yeah right and so um, you're going to continue to develop project on um, this particular topic north korean refugees what um what do you have um what's next for you are you a um, project at the moment I'm actually, I'm working on for two projects. One is documentary, one is a fiction. And the fiction movie, it's about also North Korean family. Um, right. This is my last uh, family story that I will try to finish. And it's uh, this new project, it started to, in fact, uh, 2012 in uh, Cine Fondation in Cannes Film Festival Residency. Right. So I wrote that and, and then finally uh, I restart this story and with the Korean producer. And so if we will have lucky and maybe next two years later, maybe you can see this film. Right. And so this is uh, also part of my uh, three film from Beautiful Days Fighter and uh, last film will be Secret of My Father. Right. So yeah, it's I'm still working about North Korean people and, and South Korean society and that I try to show what's the problem here. Right, and Sangmi, before we wrap, what's your your project coming? If you can speak about it, of course. Yeah, Im Sangmi 배우님께서는 지금 다음 지금 작 작업하고 계신 작품이 있으신지요? 지금은 검토 중에 있고요. 네, 확정된 프로젝트는 아직 없어요. 어, 빠른 시일 내. 좋은 인물 맡아서 좋은 작품으로 또 인사 드릴게요. I'm just uh, uh, reviewing some options, so I don't have any anything specific for now. But 
I'll do my best to uh, meet my audience again with a uh, good good title role. Great. We look looking forward to this. I hope this time we can all travel and meet in New York. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jero and Sammy, for taking time to speak with me today. Um, so we look forward to the screening of Fighter, which will um, so launch on August 7 to 12. And uh, we would like also to thank all our virtual audience members who are joining this year from across the country. Because um, New York Asian Film Festival is on, um, will um, stream nationwide. Uh, if for some information on this year's festival and to buy tickets, you can head to our website, um, nyaff.org. So um, very, Happy to have met you virtually and to seeing your next project. Thank you very much.